Hey guys, I'm at um, the Leon residence. This is Ashley Leon's parents. Um, whenever we do a new system here, we'll put our new furnace on the six inch base, new coil on top of that, and rebuild up into the existing plenum. Return drop's gonna get rebuilt. We're gonna do a um, boat or a box on the return drop. So we'll do a new box up there to span those two joist spaces. It needs to be 35 inches from side to side. Um, and then the um, 35 inches from side to side and then uh, 8 inches tall and 10 inches deep and we'll do a 10 inch drop. Um, we should be able to just push all the way up against the edge of the joist there and that'll give us enough space for our um, media cabinet. Maybe have to put a 2 or 3 inch offset in the, in the drop. I'll get some measurements for that. Grain lines for the system right out of the back of the coil or the back of the system. You do a condensate pump and then they run in vinyl up to the ceiling and over to the drain right over here. We'll put a new condensate pump in. The refrigerant lines just run straight out to the outdoor unit there. It's a really short run. We'll just plug, push new refrigerant lines through rather than flushing these. Gas lines are all good. Shut off Alvin Union right there. There is a humidifier mounted to the return side. We'll just put a new humidifier back in whenever we redo this unit. Probably not to the front of the return. And then the food pipe is four inch running over to a six inch. And then that goes into a T. There is not currently a uh, liner in the chimney, so we'll have to put a liner in the chimney. That's it downstairs. Sir, we'll pull this unit up and send anyone back down in the same spot on a new pad. New disconnect box, electrical whip, and flushing pressure test. Or, I'm sorry, we're going to replace the line set. There's your chimney. Um, so, we can do that ourselves. We'll have to 